Number 17. The graph shows the relation between the number of cookies a presenter at a convention had left to give away and the number of presentations she had made. All right, so there's a presenter who's giving a speech, and she brought cookies. And as she gives presentations, people are eating her cookies, so there's less and less cookies. All right, so that's what's going on here. As she makes more presentations, right here, as she makes more presentations, uh, her cookies are getting eaten, so she has less and less cookies to give away. Here's the actual question. What does the x-intercept of the graph represent? All right, so we need to make sure we know what that means. x-intercept is wherever your graph crosses the x-axis. So x-intercept, where... Your graph crosses the x-axis. That's why we call it an x-intercept, because it's where your graph crosses the x-axis. So right now, I don't care about my y-axis. What I care about is my x-axis right here. And this graph is going to cross the x-axis at this point right here. So let's circle that point. So this is the point that I am focused on. So let's write that point out. That point is 6 comma 0 because I do x comma y. So 6 is my x value. 0 is my y value. And let's make sure we know what that means. Since 6 stands for presentation, so after 6 presentations, how many cookies did we have left? We had 0 cookies left. All right, so that's what this means. That's what our x-intercept means. Let's go look at the entry choices. Uh, the number of cookies the present presenter had before making any presentations. That's not true. Uh, this is at six presentations, so it's not before they made any presentations. The maximum number of cookies the presenter gave away during every presentation. So remember that the x-intercept stands for 6, 0, which means after 6 presentations, 0 cookies are left. <coughs> so that's not correct. Um, the number of presentations the presenter made per hour. That is not correct either. We don't have anything about hours in this problem. The maximum number of presentations the presenter made before running out of cookies. Yeah, so 6 comma 0 tells us after 6 presentations we had 0 cookies left. So that means that she could only present 6 times before she ran out of all of her cookies. So D is the correct answer because D tells us that she presented 6 times before she ran out of cookies. So answer choice D.